The power of photography can never be underestimated. And there's a great breadth of work here. There are some things that celebrate the natural world, simply try to catch its beauty. There's a photograph around the corner, a close-up of a mushroom dropping its spores. It's almost an abstract photograph, but it's about procreation. It's about nature's ability to thrive. And to look at it is, is very, very, very beautiful. Um, in terms of unusual behavior, the winning photograph, horseshoe crabs. I mean, these are the only four species in the world. They're a very ancient group of animals. Here, the photographer has explored their life history. On this image, you can see the horseshoe crab is a marine arthropod. The horseshoe crab was already on Earth or on the ocean 450 million years ago. And it crossed the time and, and is a survival. Because even when the dinosaur ex extinct, it survived. It survived. So it crossed all the big ecological crises and is still among us. We were lucky to find a place where they are living in quite clear waters, because most of the time living in muddy waters, but really muddy with zero visibility. The thing that comes first is the curiosity for these mysteries. The ocean is full of mysteries, full. much more than you can imagine. I want to touch this mystery and I want to bring back something because most of the time these mysteries are unreachable. It's more than a weird animal, it's more than a living fossil. It, it could be also a kind of symbol of the biodiversity resilience. In the modern time, we are flooded by wonderful images. The, the social media are full of images, billions of images of the wildlife, all more beautiful than the others. What does it change? My goal was to actually document the culture of predators and hunting in the United States. When we see it on a wall like this, it's quite shocking to some people. And the images cover different predator contests and events that focus on the killing of animals. A lot of this is killing for killing. It's killing for prizes. It's killing for money. It's killing for a reward in the end. That's where this work focuses, is the for fun side of things and not the need side of things. I was able to separate you know, my, myself from the situations in order just to capture moments. Do you get emotional at times? Yeah. I mean, is it overwhelming at times? Yeah, absolutely. But in order to tell the story honestly, you, you have to be neutral. It was never my intent to come out and pursue any sort of activist perspective on this. But I think, I think a lot of the images speak for themselves. Sometimes we talk about conservation of the biodiversity for the biodiversity. I think it's wrong. Of course, the biodiversity on Earth has the right to live, but we should talk about conservation of biodiversity for ourselves. Nature is not fragile. We are fragile. We cannot live without. We couldn't even just breathe without biodiversity. We are part of everything that happens as humans, and we have choices we can make. And we need to start looking at what we're doing. Is this the world we want? Do we want a broken, fragmented landscape of nature? I want people to look, to see, and then to act. If there is something they don't like, say something, do something, but be part of what's going on. We, we need people to be motivated to do something about all of the terrible declines, the collapse in our biodiversity, climate breakdown, all the wider issues. And I think that what we see here is a collection of photographers who are moving very much in that direction. There's still a lot of celebratory photographs. There's also a lot of photographs that ask some very hard questions.